The HMS Queen Elizabeth is the largest and most powerful vessel ever constructed for the Royal Navy. She can generate just as many sorties per day as a Ford class, but unlike the Ford class, HMS Queen Elizabeth is not nuclear powered. Well, there are plenty of reasons for this. One major reason is cost, nuclear powered carriers are not just extremely expensive to build and maintain, but also the nuclear carriers are more expensive to decommission. Special facilities are required to fuel or defuel the ship's reactors which means more expenses. Another reason is that a nuclear vessel has to be refueled at midlife. This is generally a three-year process that involves not only refueling the reactors but updating all systems on the ship. So, to avoid a three-year loss of the ship's service, it makes a lot more sense to go with gas turbines and diesel engines. Another good reason is that some countries do not allow nuclear-powered vessels in their territorial waters, which is a problem because HMSQE needs to be available to dock in countries around the world to provide assistance or defense. So, it makes more economic sense to have a conventional carrier.